good morning on this beautiful, gorgeous Sunday. We're going to make eggs today. We're going to make lots of eggs. I'm going to show you all the different ways that I know how to make eggs. Let's have a fun day. Let's make some eggs. So first of all, I'm going to start with a really good quality. Some people like to use different their own preference of pan. This is a Texas-made, uh, Teflon-based, really nice aluminum pan, and I love this. This was a $150 pan. I ended up getting on clearance for like 65 bucks. This pan has been the best skillet that I've ever cooked eggs in. So I'm using a good high quality skillet to start with. And our first egg is going to be a sunny side up egg. So I'm heating this up right now and then I'm going to bring the temperature down just slow. So it's, it's getting hot but it's not there yet. And then I'm going to turn it down to about 4 or 5 which is medium high heat on my mind. I'm going to use just a real light spray of garlic infused avocado oil. The reason I like using avocado oil and olive oil is a real oil. Canola oils, vegetable oils, things that are seed oils and stuff like that, they have to be really highly processed to make them into oil. I like more natural based oils, which this works perfectly fine. Some people when they make a sunny side up, they'll go around the edges where it's like clear and hasn't been cooked through. And they'll kind of strike them to break open the surface a little bit but not getting into the yolk. And they'll try to cook some of that clear out of the egg, the white, and it doesn't mess with the yolk. The yolk has all the nutrients in it, you know. it's the essential part of the egg so this is essentially a sunny side up egg right here sunny side up gorgeous beautiful looking egg the next egg we're gonna make is an over easy egg it's basically like a sunny side up except you flip it just enough to cook the whites on the other side then you take it out immediately you don't want any film of the yolk to cook at this point I'm gonna go ahead and get this out here to the middle of the pan Let it get hot enough to where it starts moving around pretty freely. I don't want that yolk to be bothered at all. And that is long enough. That's an over easy egg. Just the whites have firmed up, but the yolk hasn't been touched at all. And now we're going to move on to over medium. So we're doing an over medium egg right now. A little bit more firmness in the whites. Get some of that grease on my spatula here. And then we'll flip it. And then we'll let the, lo the yolk just get a real nice firm texture to the yolk. And then we're going to respray our pan one more time. Stays a little bit longer. It's got a little bit more firm context texture to it. We 
that good. Okay, we have our pan nice and hot. I'm gonna turn it down just a hair. And we're gonna make a hard scramble. That's the next next egg. This is how I do a hard scramble. This is one egg be beaten together. And then while it's cooking, I start moving it around. A hard scramble, I'll make sure that it's pretty dry and solid all the way around. You know, I don't want any wetness, juiciness to it at all. This would be considered a hard scramble. When you go over to it, you can cut into it and see it's just solid. No liquid to the egg at all, no juiciness, it's kind of dry and shiny. Um, more along the firm, firm side. So now we will make a soft, we'll make a soft scramble now. So on my soft scrambles, I, I use just a splash of heavy cream and it kind of gives it this nice milky white texture. And it's just really light, very, very soft. And that's it right there, soft scramble is done. I could have taken it out a second sooner, but you can see how it's nice and juicy, kind of runny like. There's still some of the texture there of the egg. It's still very, very moist. This is a soft scramble. It's freaking delicious, man. Oh my God, it's good. So this is gonna be an over hard egg. Basically, it's sunny side up with the yolk popped. And flipped. Some people like their over hard eggs not super, super, super hard. So like this right now would be ready to come out now that the yolk's just lightly cooked and soft. Some people want it to where it doesn't have any like elasticity to it at all. But at this point, that egg is done. That's over hard. There is no yolk to it at all. It's basically popped and cooked inside the egg. This is what we call a Spanish fried egg. You'll spoon some of this butter over onto the egg and let it start cooking. You might do it in a pan and you'll just keep spooning this until that grease cooks the egg. You can do it in oh, a Spanish fried over hard, like this here. You just keep spooning that butter on top of it until it cooks. You can do a Spanish fried over easy like this or sunny side up, however you want to call it, but this spooning the grease or the butter onto the egg, it's considered a Spanish version of frying eggs. So that's, this is how, sorry. Again, Spanish fried sunny side up, Spanish fried hard. You can see how that grease is, has cooked with this egg. And we'll go ahead and take them out of the pan now. We're going to be making what I call a hillbilly omelet. We're going to put the rest of that butter in the pan to use. Fry up some of these hot dogs and make a hillbilly omelet omelet. And then I've got two eggs with a little bit of heavy cream here. Hot dogs, I'm going to lay them right in there.
You can sprinkle some cheese in there if you want to. Turn my heat back up some. I gotta turn it down too low. They ain't got to be perfect. This is just a hillbilly omelet. There we go. There's our big old giant hillbilly omelet. Pretty good. So right before this water starts rolling like this, see how the edges are starting to they're starting to simmer just a tad bit. You don't want this water to be completely rolling when you poach your egg so once it starts to do like this and get hot enough you want to turn the heat down just a little bit kind of keep it right there and then drop you an egg in there and let it cook I'm gonna use the Spanish version on this I'm just gonna kind of pull the water around the eggs I mean, you can fill the, the water up until it's completely over the top of them, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep, let them cook nice and easy, and that's how you poach them. And there is your poached eggs. Real nice. Poached in water. A lot of people like the water to be over top of it, but I don't need that much water in my pan to poach them properly. This is just really nice, very softly poached. Okay, so we have two ways to do this. There's a boiled soft and a boiled hard. So what we're going to do, put a little cold water. Not too cold, like a little bit more cold than lukewarm. had these boiling for six minutes we're gonna take one of them and put them in that water and we're gonna let the other one boil another six minutes so uh, 11 so hard boiled 11 minutes soft boiled six minutes so one of these is a 6 minute egg and one of these is a 12 minute egg. That has to be, I think, the 6 minute egg. It's really soft and that's firm. So this is a easy boiled egg. See how it's still kind of gooey inside right here? And this is a hard boiled egg. This has been sitting while the other one was cooking, so it naturally cooked some more. It would have been a lot more runny than that, but you can see the difference. This would typically ooze out a little bit, and this is perfectly done at 12 minutes, and this is at 6 minutes. Very nice.